Hey everyone, welcome back to BDG Reviews. Um, haven't put up a video in a while, but I've been kind of focused on the podcast. Um, so, you know, that is what it is. Uh, I'm going to try to get back into some more regular uploads now. Um, I'm going with today's just my July haul list. It's just stuff, uh, you know, picked up over the month and everything. And uh, I'm quite happy with it. So, yeah, I'll start off right at the beginning. First up, we got Train Spotting 2. I haven't got around to watching this yet, but I'm really looking forward to it. I love Train Spotting 1, so I have high hopes. Next up, we got Jaws 3. I've always liked Jaws 3. Honestly, I find it more enjoyable than Jaws 2. Um, it's, it's just fun. You know, you can't go wrong with a good, fun, cheesy shark flick. Then we got Fallen with Denzel Washington. This is one I've always dug. Um, it's just it's just a neat movie, you know, and I'm I was really glad I was able to find it on Blu-ray, so yeah. Then we got uh Cat's Eye, Stephen King's Cat's Eye. I picked this up simply because um on one of our podcasts, um Corey from Corey's Crypt uh just recommended that, you know, maybe I watch it again because it's I, I haven't watched it in ages. Literally probably ten years, ten, fifteen years since I last watched this. And um you know, it was cheap enough, so give it a shot again, you know. Yeah. Then we got Kong Skull Island. I really enjoyed Kong Skull Island. Um, this is the version from Walmart that comes with a copy of uh, Godzilla as well. You know, so bonus, you know. Then I got The Bye Bye Man. Um, it's not a great movie, but it's okay. I kind of I kind of dug it, you know, it was all right. Nothing to write home about, but you know. Then we got a uh, Ender's Game. Um I've never seen this movie. I'm honestly not expecting much from it. Um but you know, it was like, you know, 4 or 5 bucks and uh that's a pretty cool cover too. So I'm going to give it a shot, see what I think, you know. Next up is a bunch I've got from Britain. Uh, my parents went on holiday over there last month and uh, just had them bring me back a bit of stuff. So, here we go. First up, got Quatermass in the Pit. Uh, really fun hammer flick. Good stuff. Then we got The Elephant Man. I've been after this for a while and over here in Canada and America we can only seem to get... Um, DVDs. I've never seen a, uh, an American Blu-ray, so I was quite happy to get that. That was like that was pretty cheap too. I think that was about like four pounds, so like what eight bucks. You can't complain for that. Then we got The Void. Excellent flick. Excellent flick. You'll hear more about that on the podcast coming up soon. So then we got Grave Encounters. What's neat about this is this is actually Grave Encounters Part One. Um, in Canada and America, all we got on Blu-ray is Part 2. DVD, the DVD was just all we got for Part 1. So I'm, I'm quite glad to, to get that on Blu-ray. So, yeah. Then there was, uh, Tetsuo, The Iron Man, and Tetsuo Body Hammer. Both flicks, um, you know, first two parts of the Tetsuo trilogy. Um, it's cool to have an HD, you know. Then we got, uh, Livid or Levide or Levide or I don't know I've never known how to pronounce this particular movie um but I got it yeah so next we got uh, Maniac Cop from uh, Arrow this was this uh, well you know it, it's Maniac Cop it's a great flick you know and we got uh, Videodrome from Arrow <laughs> Donnie Darko from Arrow the Bloodstained Butterfly from Arrow, and Slugs from Arrow. Now, all of these Arrow releases were in uh, 5 for 30 pounds, so like, you know, roughly $60. Now, and honestly, you know, you, you at least up here in Canada, like, um, you know, like Don, Donnie Darko, you're looking at about 45 bucks to get it, you know, um... You know, Videodrome, I think you're stuck with, um, you have to get a Criterion, so that's quite expensive. You know, and they're all pretty high dollar things, so, 
you know, some quite good releases there, pretty cheap. Then we just got a couple of DVDs. I picked up um, Accidental Exorcist. Haven't watched it yet, but, you know, it seems like it could be interesting, you know. I mean, um, yeah, I'll, I'll see what I think of that. And then I got this just from, like, the $5 bin. It's uh, Croczilla. And uh, eight, there's eight movies total, and I, I honestly only got it for two of them. I got it for Croczilla and Creature. You know, um, Creature's the... I think it's a... I don't know, I can't even remember what it's about. But, um, yeah, and it also has uh, Attack of the Giant Leeches, Piranha, the Giant Gila Monster, the Killer Shrews, Phantom from 10,000 Leagues, and Voyage to the Prehistoric Planet. Honestly, just... Croczilla and Creature, that's all I got it for. But for five bucks, you know, I'm not complaining, right? So, yeah. So, <laughs> uh, that's just what I picked up this this past month. Um, you know, like I said, I've been focusing a bit more on the podcast recently. Um, feel free to come on over, check it out. I'll leave a link to the playlist in the description. Um, I'm quite pleased with it, and I'm, you know people seem to be enjoying it i guess um yeah so um that's it for now see you next time